What's up guys, so Arcworld has launched. We have the roulette wheel for the American server and realistically it's it's kind of unfair, right? You know, like this thing gives a lot. Would you like to proceed 10 BSLT? Um, you get gold in here, which is very, very important for a paying player and the minimum reward that you can get is 10 BSLT. So we're gonna go ahead and spin a bunch here and show you what we get. Uh, oh, we got 20 BSLT. We're ahead 10 BSLT right now. Uh, you'll notice that we do have a whole bunch of BSLT. So 15,639, 10 Archeum Brazers, cool. Like, we'll take that. Like, these are all very, very good things. The worst things in here are these lucky scrolls. These lucky scrolls are not gear upgrade scrolls. They just let you reroll stats on your uh, gear, like the substats. So yeah, like those are the worst things in here. Everything else is great. There's a labor potion in here as well, uh, 20 BSLT. The lowest amount of BSLT that you can get is 10 BSLT. So this is the worst, though that's the worst prize right there, guys. The Artisan's Lucky Scroll or any of those Lucky Scrolls are the worst Lucky Scrolls. Uh, I think the Conqueror's one might actually be the tier four or tier five one. Um, but I mean, they're still terrible. You don't really use them. And the, the, the sub stats that you get do not carry over. So those scrolls are terrible. Like the end game one, the tier six one could be useful because you're stuck on tier six for a long time. Uh, and even most people are going to be stuck on tier four slash tier five. So we'll see. And I think we're going to toggle back into the game now. Yep, we've gotten to where we needed to go. So we are going to drop down our house and uh, yeah, get our farming situation started. So the server jumped up a little bit early. I hate how they do that. They said there was going to be a two hour maintenance. The server ended up going up uh, like 40 minutes early. And so yeah, so we got to find our house, find our, our zone, and then put down our house design. So in order to do this, we need to actually find our lot. Is it this one? No, this is a public one. So it's Control H, Control H. We've got to find our lot here. We have so many of them. Um, and find which number it is. The small one, I think. All right, so it's Arkham Iris. And you can't actually rent it right here on, on this thing. So we do just need to find it in the map. So we go over here, you see, so it's uh, 7203, it's a medium. So 7203, 7212, 7265, maybe up here. Yep, 7203. And so it'd be easy, I guess, easier, to, easy or to tell is because they have all these guys have uh, Have a lock on them because they are private right now so we're gonna go and drop down our house we do need to get gold so in order to build your house you need to actually uh, you remodel so you pick the design that you want firm and then you need to give it some gold trade pack things so they don't go on your back they're just they look like trade packs in your inventory uh, construction materials they're called and so we need to go get that. We need to go get our gold too. Like uh, we've got three gold right now. So we need to get the gold from the roulette wheel to pay for the house, to build the house. Because they didn't give us the 50 gold for the pre-registration yet. So we're off to the mailbox now. And you can see people already dropping out their brazers that they got from the lottery. Someone's dropping out some crops now. And yeah, so like, I think if you have houses, you want to be dropping the stuff down as soon as possible. Um, you wanna start getting your beds down, you wanna start getting your crops down. So we're going back over here to our slot machine. Scroll, and we have to figure out how we get these things into our accounts. Cause I've never done the, uh, hey, there we go, 10 gold, it's nice. Got to figure out how to get this into the actual account though. Maybe it's under reward history. Maybe we've got labor potion. Take that. 10 BSLT, we'll take that. It's not a loss. Oh, so close to 100,000 BSLT. That would have been sweet.
So I know there's several people obviously are having issues getting in. Uh, that always happens. Uh, always issues with that stuff. Issues with the deposits. There's always going to be some issues. You just have to really, really hope that you are one of the lucky ones that does not have issues or does not have major issues. All right, 20 BSLT. So I think we're down a little bit on the BSLT front. Again, I've picked up some labor potions there. 10 gold coins, that's good. We need those. So I think at this point we have enough gold, but we just need to figure out how to deposit the gold. And I think it's under the reward. <laughs> Someone in the Discord, why can I not buy Archeum shards from Asia? Because it's a brand new server and this is America. You don't get to go to the Asian auction house. No, everything's new. There's nothing on the auction house. That's the whole point of a uh, new region and a new server. A hey, labor potion. So close to 1,000 BSLT. So that would have been nice to hit. Labor potion. Like I said, all these things are incredibly valuable in the beginning of the server. Later on, it won't matter as much. But like right now, this is, this is like almost, to me, I feel like it's like a must do. Hey, 100 BSLT. So 10 times 100 is 1,000 BSLT uh, using on this like slot machine here, this roulette wheel. But I mean, we, we, you know, we didn't know the slot machine was going to be available for NA, uh, but we saw it in Asia and, you know, you kind of got to assume that everything in Asia is going to be in America. And we already, you know, you already know coming into this, you know, that everything can be bought and sold. So like there is pay to win in this game. It's already known. Like it's understood that there is pay to win in this game. The person that has a hundred houses is going to have more resources than someone that doesn't have a house at all. Like it is totally understood so yeah people can bitch and complain and whine and like yeah say this is not fair type thing but like you know coming into this game that this game is going to have pay to win aspects where you're going to be able to purchase things and get ahead so realistically what i wanted to do is i wanted to do all this uh, slot machine roulette roulette machine uh before the server launched but you know, like I said, it launched about 40 minutes early. I was just ready to jump in the shower and then come back and start doing this. Uh, but then the server launched. So it's like, okay, jump in, get in the server. So, cause you don't want to get in the queue. There's already a queue right now, right? And it's a, it's like at least an hour queue people are showing in the, in the discord. So you don't want to be stuck in the queue. So you want to get in the server as soon as possible. And so someone asked also, it's like, why? Like they're addicted to the, the roulette wheel. They like the roulette wheel. And it's like, why does it have a daily cap? Well, the very possible reason that they have a daily cap on this is that this might actually be a positive EV. So, which means expected value. Like if you do this, you might ex like gain BSLT out of this in the long run, right? If you do this 100,000 times, you might actually be profiting BSLT. That's what I mean by expected value. Um, like we're doing okay, like, 15609 I don't know what we started at but we're doing okay and we got a bunch of of materials that are incredibly powerful and valuable right now so like even if we lose a couple hundred BSLT that is like I'm completely fine with that and then you have the the, the rare chance of hitting the $100,000 jackpot of hitting a hundred dollar a hundred BSLT or hitting the thousand BSLT like there's a um, a lot of potential here we don't know the percentages. We don't know the you know drop chance of all, all these things. Obviously, the 100,000 BSLT is going to be like 0.0001%. It's going to be very, very rare. It's a jackpot. Um, it's not equally weighted. Like You don't have the same chance to hit every single square. Even though it looks like that, this is just a visual. It's, it's not like... It's not <laughs> an equal chance to get an artisan scroll and to get 100,000 BSLT. So it's uh, kind of deceptive in that way. How many we got? We got 75 done. So let's see what else we get here. Yep. See, I just, I don't want to get scrolls. Once I get scrolls, those are the worst thing to get. Like I'll take anything else on this roulette wheel besides scrolls. And then I guess, you know, once we finish up here with 100, 
We're gonna figure out how to get this stuff into the game, which I think it is just down here in the rewards history. Um, so we'll do that in just a couple of minutes. We've got 20 more spins to go. Hopefully uh, you you know check out the game. As a free-to-play player, you can totally play Arc World. And your goal as a free-to-play player right now is to simply level up and keep ahead of the curve and get your character high enough level to get into raids, start farming the raids, and trying to get the core items. So the Archeum cores are needed to upgrade your gear. And the paying players, people with houses and such, people that are willing to throw BSLT and money into the game are gonna be wanting those items. And also the Archeum shards that drop from the Rift monsters. So that's what you're gonna be wanting to do as a free to play player, in my opinion, right? Everything is subjective. You can do whatever you want. Like you don't have to play the game any specific way. You can honestly do whatever you want and play however you want to play the game. But if you're trying to be you know, strategic about these things and trying to play kind of like more optimal, I think that's the way to do it as a free to play player. Because there is a lot of money to be made. You, know, you don't even really need to buy any skill books or anything. You sell everything that you get and sell, 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 and then use that profits later on in the future to either you know, buy things when they're cheaper if you want to continue playing the game or you just end up leaving the game after a couple of weeks as a free-to-play player. Like, you have several different options. There's no reason, you know, if your goal is just primarily to make money, like, the first probably two weeks is going to be the best time as a free-to-play player to make money, in my opinion. So after that time period, it's like, okay, if you're not having fun and the money value has gone down some, why are you still going to stick around? Just, you know, bounce and play something else or do something else with your time. But yeah, the first two weeks, like, we definitely, I think, want to go really hard on, on games like this. Um, okay, so we've done it. 15.499 is our final. Let's go over here. Okay, so it shows all of our things. Let's see. Item rewards will be given as coupons. Okay, so we click on coupons. All right, and so they're here, right here. Okay, so you go into the coupon menu, and now you click on these guys, I'm guessing. Use coupon. Please select a character. Okay, so we select a character. And now we wanna use the coupons. Okay, so we wanna use these, use these, use these. Brazers, use these, use these. I go over here, use this, use this. scroll oh that's where our phoenix is okay so our glider and everything is right there now let's go ahead and use all these oh we have to manually do every single one of them no don't tell me you have to do that going to be a pain so it looks like you manually have to do each one of these guys oh wait maybe not can we do this ah yes we can use that button to, to use all of them okay cool All right, so we don't want the scrolls because that's just gonna clog up our inventory. We don't want them, they're garbage. Garbage, I tell you. Okay, and we'll use those. Scent. Yeah, I don't think I want my Phoenix yet. We're not gonna be doing that kind of stuff yet. So let's go ahead and use those. Take out the scrolls. Add 
Let's go check our character, make sure we're still not kicked. Because, yeah, you don't want to get kicked. And there we go, in our mailbox, good. Okay, download that. Let's let that process while we get some more of the stuff. All right, so there you go. That's the roulette. We did 100 spins in this video and then also talked about land and how to get these guys. So we'll do another video on this stuff later for people that didn't see it. A shorter video as this was more of like a let's play kind of thing on what we're doing. Uh, thanks for watching as always, guys. Hopefully you have a chance to jump in the game. We can get through the queue. Let me know how bad the queue is, guy. Like, you know, how long is it? What's the longest you've seen on the queue? Love to hear from you guys. As always, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you.